You've likely seen by now the video of an eight-year-old handcuffed boy uh, by a deputy at a Kentucky school. It is sparking all sorts of outrage. Uh, discipline in schools is now under scrutiny. Should police training be reevaluated, especially when it comes to interacting with special needs children in the school system? Joining me now is Lisa Thoreau. She's the executive director and founder of Strategies for Youth. It is an organization dedicated to improving interactions between police and youth. And, and Lisa, I want to get to that portion, the, the interactions in a minute. But first of all, we have to address this video. It's so hard to watch to see this little fella in such it, frustrated. He's having a it meltdown. Is. He's agonized. Um, what kind of long-term psychological effects on a child that young could something like this have on them? Well, I'm not a psychologist, but I uh, work with many psychologists, and it's clear that this interaction is going to traumatize that child um, and make them very fearful of police, and I don't think that's the outcome that we desire here. So we know that some of these schools are, some schools are using, and I know they are used often in Kentucky, these school resource officers or SROs. They're being used in elementary schools uh, in a way to sort of do what some point when we were going to school, what the vice principal or the principal would necessarily do. It seems that they're being relied right. on to discipline, um, discipline students. What is your concern there? Well, there seems to be much confusion in the United States about what's the difference between discipline and punishment. Mm. Uh, in Kentucky, it's been made very clear that using restraints such as handcuffs is against the law. It is not allowed in the public schools. And uh, across the country, we see lawsuits like this because officers are using this kind of restraint, sometimes at the request of a school teacher, sometimes at the request of a, a school principal. And uh, usually the attention is focused solely on the officer, but it's a system's response to children who are not behaving well, and it's disproportionately experienced by children with learning disabilities and emotional behavioral disabilities, and children who've suffered a lot of trauma and can't self-regulate in their classroom. And this is what we know about this young fella, because they're keeping him his identity private for obvious reasons. We do know that he has ADHD and we, and we understand from what the family is saying that he had suffered some previous trauma. So the, the question here is, do these special resource officers, school resource officers, are they trained? Is this just sort of sheriff's deputies plunked into the existing school system? Or are these people that are trained specifically to deal with the population of elementary school age children and then potentially a group of children that have these special needs? In our experience, they are not trained. Hmm. The school districts don't require them to be trained. Uh, in Kentucky, the State Department of Education regulations require them to be trained. I would guess that if this officer had been trained, he wouldn't have used these tactics. We travel around the country training school resource officers. We find they haven't learned anything about normative development anything about mental health issues children experience or how trauma exposure affects their behavior mm. in school environments. They know nothing about learning disabilities or emotional behavioral disabilities and how that affects children's behavior. Mm. And they're completely unaware of the legal protections to which these children are entitled. Right. Well, and you can almost imagine that because I know this officer has largely been vilified, but he seems to just be taking his training to dealing with adults and adult criminals and sort of using it on, on this child. So here's, here's what the concern is, and I know it's with the kind of work that you guys are focusing on, is, is the, the effect it's going to have on children to have, this is often their first interaction with law enforcement, right? And, and it's that important uh, first interaction that sort of, uh, pro, I don't know, it, it lays the pavement for how future interactions right. will go, correct? Well, across the country, we find that officers are getting about 1% of time of the training academy time to learn about juvenile justice issues. In Kentucky, not an hour in the training academy, uh, which is 754 hours long, is spent on how to work with children. So 
Kentucky is not doing a good job to equip and train its officers to work with young people. And this, in turn, leads to them using adult approaches on children and youth. Mm -hmm. And we know adult approaches don't work with children. I mean, that's why we have pediatricians instead of right. general practitioners. And, and that's why we treat children differently and why they have special protections under the law. Law enforcement is lagging in this way. Right. And we've been pushing, um, and we see legislation pushing and requiring SROs to be trained so that you can avoid this kind of incident. Okay. Um, this is just harmful to the police, too. It Lisa undermines Thoreau. their legitimacy. We have to leave it there. Thank you yeah, so much for joining us, and I appreciate this. Hopefully, we'll be able to continue this conversation another time. Lisa Throat joining us here on.